While they say no amount of money could make up for the six lives lost when the key bridge collapsed, state officials still want someone to pay. And like many others who have filed claims in court, they believe it should be the companies responsible for the dolly. WMER 2 News Elizabeth Worthington joins us now with the latest in what will prove to be a lengthy legal battle. Yeah, Kelly, we started seeing claims filed in court back in April, but in the last couple of weeks, as we approach today's deadline set by a federal judge, those claims have really started ramping up. The latest came today from the state of Maryland, which conducted its own investigation on board the Dolly and discovered some more damning evidence. You heard the Department of Justice make the argument last week. Now Maryland's Attorney General is agreeing. The Dolly was not fit to sail on the morning of March 26th, and the owner and operator of the ship are to blame for the domino effect of equipment failures that happened when it did so, ultimately leading to the death of six men. They should all be here right now. That's why accountability matters. So today, we file a lawsuit to make sure that they pay for their failure. We will not allow Marylanders to be left with the bill for the gross negligence, mismanagement, and incompetence that caused this harm. The AG's office conducted its own investigation on board the ship, and its findings so far align with what the DOJ discovered during its investigation. The state and the federal government say the crew of the Dolly made quick fixes to long-standing mechanical and electrical problems and recklessly disabled safety features. Investigators say when the ship lost power just minutes after leaving port, backup systems failed because the crew had switched to an inadequate fuel supply source. Our investigation already begins to show that some of the configuration and reconfiguration of systems and it's laid out in our pleading could only have happened with the knowledge and understanding and perhaps even the approval of the owners uh, and operators of that ship. The state is suing for a long list of costs and damages, including lost toll revenues, cleanup and debris removal, and the replacement of the bridge. Attorneys are trying to convince the federal judge that the companies cannot cap their liability at $44 million. That's the amount Grace Ocean and Synergy have said they're willing to pay. We cannot forget everything that the Dolly was responsible for us losing that morning. We will be asking the federal judge uh, in this case to set a schedule for discovery so we can get to it. We are not interested in delay in this matter. We are interested in getting to trial sooner rather than later. So today was the final day that a judge was going to accept claims in this case, but some companies were granted an extension, so there could be even more coming. So we have a lawsuit from the state, from the federal government. I know Baltimore County, the city of Baltimore. Tell me how many cases is the Dolly facing, the owners? So far, there are 29, but like I said, wow. there could be more coming. They've been continuing to come in all day long. The families of all six victims, Miguel Luna, Maynor Sandoval, Jose Lopez, Dorleon Cabrera, Carlos Hernandez and Alejandro Fuentes have all filed claims against the two companies. They're seeking damages for wrongful death as well as punitive damages in an amount they say will far exceed the value of the Dolly, which is all Grace Ocean and Synergy Marine has argued that they owe.